the Active Force 2, uh, once you put it together, just three parts. There's the, the pad that a patient pushes into, and then the strap that you attach. I just connected it via Bluetooth to my iPad. So I'm just going to choose strength, then left, and shoulder, flexion, and seated. So I can actually name it too, uh, real quick, if I wanted to say Travis shoulder flexion seated, and in today's date. First, it calibrates. You don't push any push any pressure. Go ahead and push up. Give it your best effort for five seconds. Okay, and you can stop. So it's as simple as that. You can you can do as many tests as you want. Three, five tests. I usually do uh, one kind of maximal test and have the patient hold it for five seconds. If there's a greater than 10% uh, difference, then that would be significant. Let's just check the right side. So we can easily go switch to the right side and start. So again, it calibrates itself and go ahead and push up as hard as you can. So now you can see in the graphics that I'm going to include that basically is a screen capture of my iPad that, that you can easily view the summary and it shows peak force over time and also the average force. The